So now I'm going to try to compare my two devices. I have an iPad, which is connected to this microphone, external microphone on the left. It has been calibrated. Uh, I'm using the NIOSH app on the iPad. It has been calibrated to 94, and I've double-checked it at 114. The right microphone is connected to my iPhone, also running the NIOSH app, and I've uh, calibrated it so that it has I calibrated it to 94, and I double-checked it at 114. And I'm going to just try to compare uh, the two levels and see how accurate the two devices with the two calibrated microphones are. So I'll stop talking in a moment, just let it go quiet, and then I'll put some noise on. Now, to my surprise, there's a fair amount of difference between those two. Even though the two microphones are the same distance from the same source of noise, the readings are not the same. And I'll double check with the calibration. So even though the two microphones are calibrated to the same value and they show up calibrated when I check it again, for some reason I'm not getting exactly the same measurements from this noise signal, even though the two loudspeakers are pretty much the same distance from the same source at the same location, they should be reading the same number, but they're not quite. It's within a dB or so, a couple of dB, but that's just something to be aware of. So that's just something you may have to encounter. You may have, uh, you know, two two sound level meters that should be identical. They're both calibrated, but they may not give you exactly the same number. But that's where this plus or minus one and a half for a type one, or a plus or minus two and a half dB for the type two. These are type two microphones, type two apps. So there could be as much as plus or minus two dB on either one, which could explain this difference when we take a look at the noise levels.